everyone and welcome to video 8.3 on quality assurance in online learning. Two of the analysis questions I'd like you to ponder before you get into the readings and a bit of the content for this piece are whether quality measures are context dependent and then what components might be in a quality assurance model for online learning. In terms of some resources I'd like you to take a look at, I've got two here in addition to the one um, from the Commonwealth of Learning that's in your course outline. The Bates and Sangra book, this particular link, links directly to their executive summary. And they have an entire chapter. If you have the book, I would encourage you to take a look at chapter 6, which is all on quality, quality assurance. But in the executive summary, they do do a nice job of truncating what would be relevant and meaningful for you to focus on for quality assurance. The second link is a wiki site at UBC on building quality assurance and online learning and it does a nice job of providing an overview of a variety of ways to approach it. So the first one has a nice big acronym and it's a comprehensive approach to program evaluation of online distributed learning. There's also a pillars of quality approach and that's out of the Sloan consortiums where you can find some really good resources on this. There's a holistic quality framework that they review and then the 5E model. So I think between these two resources and the Commonwealth of Learning paper on quality assurance, you can really start to get a handle on the various issues that are emerging with quality assurance and online learning as we start to implement this. With respect to the synthesis question, I really would like to take some time in our tutorial this week talking about whether or not if the quality assurance model is context dependent, can we really ever be sure of a program's quality and what does count as success? So looking forward to discussing that. Enjoy the explorations and the readings and we'll speak with you soon. Mm -hmm.